Plus contextual solve AI image editing. And now you can give comments like a conversation. Turn off the light at the back. Swap the headline from Vogue to Woke. Extract her outfit and turn it into a product photo with white background. And it executes perfectly with just simple prompts. What you just saw was created by Flux Context, the new model just released by Black Forest Labs. In this video, I'll show you 10 powerful ways to use and monetize context and share the exact prompts I use for each example. Flux Context understands context like never before. Not only can it generate high quality images, but now you can upload any image and edit it using natural language instructions just like you would with ChatGPT or Gemini and it only changes what you ask for, keeping the rest intact. I'll drop links to several platforms you can try for free in the description, but the easiest way is directly on Black Forest Labs official playground. When you sign up, you get 200 free credit to start. This is enough to test about 50 images. Just like any other image generators, you can generate images from text or upload a reference image to edit and transform. Before we dive in, if you like content like this, Remember to like and subscribe, and I really appreciate your support. Now let's dive into the 10 my blowing use cases. Number one is character consistency. This is something that used to be AI's biggest weakness. Most models could capture the general vibe of your character, but getting the exact face and outfit right is nearly impossible. I think context may be the closest to nail it at the moment. I put in this character. You can see she has very complicated and detailed outfit and accessories. I asked context to make her hug a white fluffy cat. And this is what we got. For this one, her height shifted a little, but her outfit, accessory, and facial features are precisely preserved. You can now ask the same character to interact with objects, strike different poses, or move into completely different scenes. And they stay incredibly consistent. What about multiple consistent characters, you said? Platform like OpenR or FreePick let you combine multiple reference images into a single scene. I use OpenR with different character reference and context blended them like this. I would say the unique features of both characters are mostly preserved. Let me show you how I did it on OpenR. Under Create Image, we select the Flux Context model and they have an Omni reference feature where you can upload your character. Upload the reference photo and then we can give it prompt have the auto enhance off and hit create. And this is how easy right now we can create multiple consistent character in the same scene using flex context. Also, you can create the same character showing different emotions while keeping every facial feature intact. This is another one. This level of precision editing and prompt understanding has basically solved 90% of the character consistency problem. We're not 100% yet, but I think soon the character consistency issues will be a thing of the past. When we have the right images, we can also feed them into image to video tools. I use Clean 2.1 to make the video like this one. And now it's easier for everyone to create a movie of their own. Next up is Virtual Try On, which completely eliminates the need for expensive photo shoots. With context, you can now put your clothes on an AI model without losing the details of your garments. You don't need a special app or complex workflow anymore. Just one simple prompt with context. I put this floral dress on a model by describing the scene I want, and I think the results speak for itself. What impressed me the most was how perfectly it preserved the dress shape and cut. Just look at the cut at the waist area. Also the pattern around it. It almost 100% duplicate what happened here. This is definitely marketing ready quality that could go straight into fashion magazines. I also tested it with this man's jacket, and the result looks like a professional model shoot. In my eyes, every design detail is intact. Let me know if you can spot any flaws. I also wonder, could it handle two pieces of clothing at once? So I try a banana print top and the matching pants. Using the Omni reference feature on OpenR AI, I was worried that they don't match, but he completely rocks the styles. This is huge for anyone in fashion, e-commerce, or marketing. Instead of organizing model shoots, hiring photographers, and dealing with venue headaches, you can now showcase your products on perfect models in any setting you want, all from your computer. Next one, we have regional edits. One of my favorite breakthroughs is how effortlessly regional edit has become. Before context, you had to manually select and mask the area you want to change. Now for this woman with tattoos, I simply have to type remove the tattoo and it knew exactly where the tattoo was and remove it flawlessly. You can also easily swap objects with just a prompt without any extra step. 
I also tested contacts for product shots. I started with this ramen pack that had a lot of text on it and it turned it into a stylized product photography just with my prompt. And I have checked on it. Most of the text came out correct, maybe like 95%, but there is some blurriness in some of the area. But overall, I think the result is pretty good. Then I tried something more challenging. This is a transparent perfume bottle and I want to change the background. Some tools would treat this like a solid object, but context understands that it's transparent. So it makes the liquid inside the bottle shift colors to match the new background color. The understanding of context really makes a difference. Also, the bottle shape and proportion still looks like the original. You can even generate mockups where the model holds the product. But I have to say right now, it's still tricky to get the size and proportion in relation to the model, correct? So you may have to try a few times to get the result you want sometimes. Restoring old photos was another useful use case. I tested this crack folded black and white images, and this is what context fix and colorize. I like that it matched the color tone that matched the time period for this one. This is another impressive example. But I have to say there is some artifacts here where it thinks that the fold of the photo is the pattern of her shirt. But other than that, the image is super impressive. It almost feel like we just took this with an iPhone. We can also restyle images easily now because contacts now have more understanding of different styles and genre, even the Studio Ghibli style that used to be dominated by GPT model. Another game-changing use case for e-commerce and business is instant mockups. Simply have your logo ready and ask contacts to place it on any product like this t-shirt. The result is nearly perfect, though I didn't actually notice the small imperfection of a misspell here. But I think if you try a few times, it will work. As you can see, this is a super complex logo with a Chinese text here and small text here and here. But it almost preserved it perfectly, except for the spelling. Oh, I went ahead and put it onto this model in the restaurant. So now you have professional imagery for your company website or hiring pages, showing happy employees wearing your branded clothing without having to force anyone. You can create mockups on virtually anything like this cup. This time it spelled the text correctly. And it also followed my instruction of putting milk tea and bubble inside the cup. But here's the challenge. When you just describe a cup in text, you might not get the exact product you will actually use. So I tested using multi reference and I found this specific cup on Alibaba. Then I used context to combine them both together and got this. So this result was much closer to what I can actually use if I want to source this cup. But you can see there's still some imperfection where the ratio is actually not the same. I think you have to probably try a few times or do some image manipulation still on your end. What's really cool is you can even ask for a full brand set with a single prompt like this, just to get an instant vibe of your brand identity. I'm actually very impressed with what it come up with. Flux Context can also handle text edits super well, even when the text is partially blocked, but it still figure out the style and replace the word correctly. This is really useful if you are updating posters or product packaging. Also, if you have a logo that you want to change text on, you can simply ask it to change the text like this. It will preserve the same style and just swap the text for you. But just be careful not to steal anyone's artwork and not get into any legal issue by doing this. I also tested perspective changes, like rotating this house from the side view to the front view. The shape of this one wasn't really correct because you can see that there's no window here and the roof should be half of the size. And probably because the house is designed asymmetrically, so it didn't get it right this time. But I have tried with more conventional building, it should work okay. The same goes for room. I asked it to turn the camera angle around from a top-down view of the bed. And I think it created the exact layout. Can you spot anything wrong here? Let me know in the comment below if you did. And also you can turn your full photography to a different angle like this. And finally, we can change the seasons, time of days, and lightings. Here I say change this into a winter scene. And context adds snow to the ground. And also on top of the cap, even her hair. It knows that her boots need to sink into the snow, but everything else seems to be intact. 
I like that it remembered to turn on the light of the cars so it's safer in the snowing day. We can also change time of day, like switching from daylight to a nighttime Eiffel Tower scene with the light. I like that it knows that the Eiffel Tower should light up at night, although I think the surrounding area should be even more brighter. And here I tested golden hours too. I think this is perfect, but it does feel like he gained some weight from here to here, a little bit. We can also change the color of the light, and the whole scene get covered in a different color tone like this one. You simply have to ask it to change the color of the light. Like the beginning example, we can also adjust specific lightings in an image. I asked it to turn off the light on the back. And it gave me a nearly pitch dark room, but it still keep the light at the front on. It really makes me feel like image god. So these are the 10 use cases I found most useful in Flux Context so far. I will drop the links to the platforms you can use below. If you have tried any of these or discovered others I missed, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and let's meet at the next one.